is the Infinity Summit Group. Truth. Passion. Success. Hello everybody and welcome to the Infinity Summit podcast. Uh, Today is August 28th, 2023. Welcome back everybody. I'm Noah. Xavier. Logan. Jesse. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, current goings on in the world because we've had some wild ones. But uh, first we're going to start out with one of our members went on another podcast called Smooth Talk, right? Yes. Tell Very us fun. about that. It was a good time. It was a lot more chill than this one, like uh, in a more joking manner. I was going to say, are we not chill? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's chill about it? We're, no, we're, we are very chill. That was actually one of his feedbacks. He said it seems like basically when someone comes onto this podcast, it feels very serious. Like there's no there's no room for mistake. No so shit? it makes sense why, for example, Casey Boy threw up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, really? I thought, I thought that was pretty good feedback, yeah. Yeah, we need to have him back on. I just, I've never felt that way. I thought we were just vibing and hanging out, but that's what I thought too. But we're used to it, and yeah. what it comes down to, what I'm thinking is our name, truth, passion, success, based on financial, spiritual, and political. Yeah, three very serious topics. Yeah, maybe. So I'm guessing people We've also, see that, and they're like, "Fuck." Yeah, we're also doing it on top of a black pool table cover with a singular light above it. Yeah. The <laughs> we've got the big old. Audio setup, it looks computers. It seems serious. It yeah. seems very official, yeah. I mean, wasn't that what we were going for in the first place? Yes. Yep. So it worked out perfectly. Um, but yeah, it was very fun. Would you guys Chilled, get smoothies? Laughed. Yes. I didn't drink mine because uh, all the allergies. Yeah. So I just I drank four water bottles <laughs> during the duration. <laughs> of the Lord, how long was it, dude? It was about four hours. Holy shit! Yeah, four so hours of airtime. Mm, I'd say probably like three and a half hours of our time. Holy and then cow. with edits and everything, I'm going to guess it would probably knock down to like 315. So let's talk about what it's about. Like, what's he doing it on? Like, I haven't heard anything about it. So enlighten yeah. me. And this is one of our guests, Ryan, that we've had yeah. on before. Yeah, he does the Trident Kendamas. Yeah. Kendama boy. He actually made the podcast because of us. Really? That's what he said his inspiration was. That's badass. That's, like, That's yeah. fucking sick. Let's go. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just talk about the person's life, come up with funny stuff, shoot the shit. It's nothing serious at all. Just kind of like those ones that you see on Instagram where they're all just fucking around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which there's always, always a place for that. Mm Mm-hmm. Should Mm -hmm. be fun. I can say I definitely had, that was the funnest podcast I've been on. Um, but I didn't gain much from it. Right. Yeah. So, but I loved, I would totally go back and he wants to have, I know at least you on. And I'm assuming you too as well. Fuck yeah. Tell them when we know when. Yeah. So, it was fun. We laughed a lot. It comes out on Thursday. Sweet. What days does he do it on? He records on Thursdays. Then he comes out every Thursday. The next Thursday? Too. Yeah. Cool. Same day. So, that's cool. Yeah, it was a damn good time. And apparently the algorithm will not show your video on people's, like, for your for you page or whatever. If you swear in the first, I think it's three minutes or something. Yeah, first couple minutes if you swear, then you you can get demonetized and it won't show. Yeah, like not Damn. recommended. So, so clearly we got to do some research. <laughs> so what's the deal? Are we going to try to not swear anymore? No, just in the first like couple minutes of the podcast. Oh, okay. We'll Which, just have to figure out some stuff, how the algorithm works. Yeah, yeah. that'd be interesting. Because we haven't done any research on that. We're just putting content out. Yeah, mm-hmm. just shooting it. Mm-hmm. It's mostly like posting a shitload, right? There's like a daily. couple things now. I've seen daily. They've got AI that screen it too, right? Yep. So they could screen the audio, they could screen the video, thumbnails, things like that. Mm. Just have yeah. to do some research, what it's looking like. But that sounds fun as crap, dude. Yeah, it was a dang good time. You just have two seats up in his room. And oh, you really? Sit next to each other. You hold the mics. Or you can just leave it on the desk, but I always yeah. held it. And comfortable seats. It was epic, actually. Then we took a break, went and had food. He's going to have to edit a lot. Yeah? Why is that? Just name. Because you're just. <laughs> oh. No, not at all. <laughs> um, name dropping. I swore in the first couple minutes on accident. Mm. Just stuff like that. Cool. Well, that that teaches him 
how to uh, just debrief someone before they go, you know? Yeah. Or pre-brief them, I guess. <laughs> Don't swear in the first few minutes. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It's hard. I said ass, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> 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 well, there's two. <laughs> yep. Double demonetized. Yep. That's a bummer. Oh, it was a good time, though. That sounds fun as heck, yeah. You can shoot me a text whenever, and I'm here. Yeah. I'll make it happen. That sounds fun. Yeah, I think you'd like it. We need more people in the fan making podcasts because I think a lot of people have great, great thoughts and ideas. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, and we've seen the array of guests we've had on and it'd be very beneficial. And it's a great way for the family to stay connected. Like, oh, what are their inner thoughts and stuff? Boom. Let's listen to their podcast. There you go. Mm-hmm. You get it all out there. Yeah. Um, My wife's side of the family just barely found out I had a podcast. Cool. This what? weekend, I was like, where the fuck have we all been? <laughs> yeah. How long have we been doing this? Like, over two years? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Has it been over two years? Oh, yeah, dude. We yeah. started in, is it April 2020? It was April, yeah. That sounds right. So, uh, three years? It has been a long time. <laughs> it's weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is weird. I want to go back to the first episode still and see what he was like. Uh, it's it's probably just like cancer. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. It's going to be straight growing things in uh, your uh, ear. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, what are we saying? Yeah. yeah. It was fun, though. He kept a good flow. Good. Yeah. I was impressed. Yeah, it seems like he'd be good at that. Mm-hmm. Um, and the podcasting really does help even with public speaking and stuff. I'm, I <clears throat> run like meetings and stuff at the training center with – all the instructors, all the students, that's up. That's upwards of like 50, 60 people. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I don't have an issue with it. I still say um sometimes, but it's when I'm getting something up, like pulling out my phone. Oh, what's that, you know? Mm. But, yeah, it's uh, it really helps. It, even if you don't realize it, you're just like, I do this all the time. I talk to 100 people or you think of 100,000 people or whatever all the time. It's just now they're in person. Yeah. You have all the energies and stuff with it you know and the looks be a little more intense with them being personally there well i mean you think about it at work you interact with customers every day and oh yeah that's how i got out of my was being a bartender you know yeah Mm -hmm. you just got to remember i don't i don't know how to explain it but when you're going up and speaking in front of people they are not against you they are for themselves you know, and like you'll have you'll have some haters out there, and that is across life. Like people are not against you for the most part; they're for themselves. Yeah. Sometimes that doesn't align with what you want. You know, so you just you're just like I have this information to put out. Whoever gains from it, whatever they gain from it, great. If not, that's great too. Maybe I'll get some good feedback. You know, mm-hmm. and I'm always asking for feedback after too. So, yeah, if you guys. You guys ever end up in that situation where you got to speak to multiple people or even a crowd then just stay stay within your own self you're just like still still orate and push push that push your words out i guess i should say so they can hear you and you don't seem like you're all and this is what we're doing now you know because people don't take well to like timid speakers but yeah once you once you figure out, it's just like, they're not against me. They're just here to listen. And I've got a message to put across. Let's put it out there, and then whatever happens, happens. <coughs> whatever. So, yeah. so I got over it. You'll still be nervous the first time or two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it makes me wonder, what's the next big thing? Because podcasting, is, I wouldn't say it's dead by any means. It's actually massive. But it's oversaturated like crazy. Very, yeah. So yeah. what's yeah. next? That's what I keep thinking. Uh, potentially podcasts in VR where you can have a VR crowd listening from home, but they're also watching from home. That'd be interesting. And you can see like the camera where it projects in the VR. Yeah. That's probably, that's probably one of the next steps. Uh, I don't know though. Cause there's been a pretty big pushback against VR. Why? People just are not warm to the fact that reality is going to be taken from them. Yeah. I, I can't, can't blame them. them. I can't blame me either. I'm like, I look at VR, I'm all, mm, nah, I like life, you know? Yeah. Reality. Yes. Dude, speaking of VR, <coughs> this just reminded me of the, mm-hmm. the little thing that Raga had. But you can hook up, like you can, you know how Zoom is kind of laggy and kind of gross? Yeah. You can hook up that device 
to your computer so it's clear audio from the the other party so you can have actual zoom meetings that's good quality hmm. that'd be nice i think yeah, it'd be worth cool. checking out heavily what's, what's this device called i have it in my notes oh, okay. my phone's over there cool I'll check it out later yeah that'd be freaking dope it would be a nice device Is, was it all bluetooth and stuff or was it hooked up like ours it was hooked up cool yeah but it's so small Mm-hmm. that would be nice but we would still need the bottom one wouldn't we for the this yeah yeah for all the mics and then the you can adjust that on it how do you plug in everything on it like how many holes does it have I'm it had a like lot. visioning like a box that's like this big with just a bunch of like holes in it to plug shit in. Uh, yeah, it is it is like that big, but it's on the top. So you can plug in headphones like, like these things. Yeah. It plugs that in just fine. That's what we were using. It's that type. You could plug in six of them plus, uh, plus headset jacks. The one that he had, it was four. Okay. And then I asked him and he said the, the most he's seen was six ports. And I said, that's all I need. We don't really go more than that ever. No, we've never gone more than six. Yeah. Have we had six people on here? No, we only have five mics. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Well, I remember we shared at least one time, but that might have yeah. been when we had four mics. <laughs> yeah. That sucked. Yeah. yeah. I hated it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moral of the story, it'd be sweet to look into. Yeah, we'll check it out. But yeah. yeah. Anyways. Right. Let's talk about Trump. Yeah. Got the old mug shop. Dude, he he made over seven million dollars the day that I dropped on merch. <laughs> yeah, they released all the merch and everything. So many people had T-shirts out, fucking everything. It was his it biggest just... growing campaign day. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> it's just of his mugshot, like yeah. on, on his T-shirt. Yeah, and it says like revenge below it. <laughs> all the revenge. Shit. It's cool. He's got the smolder going on, the orange smolder. <laughs> Dude, he yeah. knows media like the back of his hand. Yeah, he did great. <laughs> So he crazy. wasn't the only one that made money. There was a shit ton of people that made money on that. Oh, yeah. They even... Doing the same thing. Like, Tim Pool, he made a bunch of a bunch of the ideas of the merch. Mm-hmm. He's like, it's free. Free use for anyone to go make money off it. That's cool. So you can grab the picture, print it, mm-hmm. sell it. So, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. So what the heck's happening with it? Because he's not in jail. He left, right? He's out on bail. Yeah, it was either two or five hundred thousand. I think it was two hundred thousand bail. He only paid like twenty grand, I think, though, because probably he, it's just a it's percent. like ten percent bail, yeah, yeah, or whatever that is. What was the whole thing over anyway? Was it like the tax? Oh shit! The tax shit? So many it, things. Yeah, they caught him in Rico, so you can basically make up anything and charge him. And you got to explain Rico a little bit for the listeners. My definition of it is you can use, you can say anything and charge them with it. You can look up the actual definition. Rico? I've yeah. Never heard is it of like it. terrorist stuff? No, like they'll do it on drug dealers and stuff. So basically, somebody is like brought in for being charged on whatever. Mm-hmm. This is my understanding. And then they name a name, so they're brought in. And then they name a name, so they're brought in. And then they name a name, so they're brought in. Okay, mm-hmm. then. Uh, RICO stands for the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. Oh, that'll do it. So it's like what they did with the mafia families? Yeah. To my knowledge. Like, okay, you know you, so you know you, and you know you, so you're all coming in. Yeah. The craziest thing that I've that I've been hearing out of all of it is that they're indicting his lawyers. Yeah. They have, and attorney general. <laughs> like, What? That's and head honcho. Yeah, they're indicting him all for giving him legal advice. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. That seems like stretching to me. Like a oh, it's a big old stretch. It's yeah. gymnastics out there. Do you want to know the Mr. only Fantastic. one that's been held in jail? He's the black one. The black one that was fighting for the rights of black people for Trump. He's the only one that's in jail out of all of them. Isn't that interesting? Racist? <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of weird. What? what are they trying to achieve? Right? It's not done anything. They're trying to get Trump off the ballot. They're not. Right, but it, they're not. What are they trying? I don't know. Make it a pain in his ass? They want him there to run against Joe Biden. Why would you sure about that? that? Because he's going to win against him. Maybe. He lost last time. That's true. I'd be amazed if he lost this time. 
I would also be amazed. It would be mind-boggling. Correct. I think I think they're pushing all this to try to get an indictment, to try to get him off the ballot. Yeah, and then what? So they can put in whoever the fuck they want. They don't have to put in Joe Biden. They can put in whoever. Maybe Michelle Obama or something. Although Michelle Obama might have a winning chance against Trump. But I think she'd have a way better yeah, chance. I don't, Biden. I don't know that they're going to run her. You got Bernie Sanders, mm-hmm. Michelle Obama, maybe. I don't think, though. Bernie Sanders is done. He's coming out again. <laughs> yeah, but he's coming out so many years in a row now. He's just yeah. never gotten He's there. gay? No, I'm just kidding. Um, he always gets pushed out by the other Democrats because they don't like him. Yeah. The, yeah, I mean, it's just simple strategy. How do you win against a guy who's just abolishing everything? It's make sure he can't run. You know? I agree, but. Take out the opposition. Yeah, which is what they're trying to do, but. I don't, I don't really think, I don't think it's going to work. Well, they've been trying to do that since day one. Why else would they start day one? Russia scandals, all this other shit. I don't know. Why are they waiting till right before the debates to do it? Why are they waiting to right before the election to do it? And why isn't he in jail right now? I don't know. Hmm. This shit don't make no sense. It's all made up. That's why. Well, it's been boiling and festering. Like, they were, they were all fucking amazed when he got the presidency. And since yeah. day one, they've been actively working against him. Uh, gathering all this shit, all this shit, right before debates, right before the election, they're like, okay, boom, let's hit him, yeah. you know, and hit it hard, because they're really, you can tell, like we said, they're stretching, they're stretching oh, yeah. hard, and they're really pushing to get him to not be able to run, <clears throat> or or at least if he runs, that his image is permanently tarnished, so hopefully he won't win, you know? Oh, it's too late for that, it's like Mike Pence. Yeah. The only reason he's up there is to fucking for his kids and grandkids, like I think Tim Pool said. Hmm. Maybe he's Ben Shapiro. What do you mean by that? Because Trump essentially took him through the dirt oh. and blamed him for for not overturning the election. And so now his image has been tarnished. Yeah. And so he's on the debate stage to try and make up for that. Like, no, this is bullshit. And he's going after Trump for it. Which, I mean, fair enough. He couldn't have done anything. Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess he could have. I really think they're just trying to work. They're fighting the fucking red wave of Trump supporters, you know, permanently trying to get him off, off if not off the ballot, then at least permanently tarnished. So he, it's just like he's got so much influence and power and orata- oratory, like he's really good at speaking. Yeah, mm-hmm. in a way that. Not necessarily in an eloquent way, but a way that connects <laughs> with the American people, you know? Right. Um, <clears throat> that's, I mean, that's the only goal I could see on that, Take taking out a big opponent. Yeah, which is bad. Bad for the country. Yes, <laughs> it is bad for the country. Start taking out political opponents. Mm-hmm. Turn into Russia and China. How much do they have to do to take him completely off, though? Like, what does a president have to do? How how bad do they have to fuck up when they're like, all right, like you if, can't run anymore? If I don't even any know. of these alleg- as I understand, if any of these allegations actually stick and he actually is, has to go to jail and they can federally indict him, um, basically you can get taken off or taken out of the running as a president if it was if it can be proved that you have that you had conspiracy against the U.S. Basically. And they're, they're pushing out January 6th. They're pushing out with the documents. They're pushing out with Russia for the longest time. Yeah, and if, <clears throat> and if he charged, I think it's in the state, and he gets sent away, um, and he gets elected as president still, because his name will be on the ballot, maybe. He can't pardon himself. Yeah. So it's like... There's that, too. <laughs> Vivek 2024. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what if he's in jail and then he gets, like, elected president and he's, like, in jail? He can't he's do Still nothing. the president. It'd be so weird. Oh, no, there'd be riots. Yeah. I don't think you could do anything but let them out at that point. Well, good luck keeping him in jail because there's, like, you just have to have a whole prison for him. Yeah. Because you have the Secret Service and everything. Like, you just have to have a, his own special, just house arrest at Mar-a-Lago, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's all it would be. Yeah. 
That is the weirdest concept. They have to have the Secret Service and everything with him in jail. Yeah. So when he's getting his mug shot, he's surrounded by all these Secret Service people. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I don't even know. And then they just go home at the end of their shift. See you, Mr. President. <laughs> just go in jail yeah. with him. Yeah. I'm sure he had they people did. all around him. Yeah. There's no way they're letting him in a prison where he's going to get stabbed or some nope. shit. No. No way. And they got to watch all the prison guard guards and everything. Mm-hmm. Basically had his own shit, probably. Yeah. Whole block of the Yeah, he'd have to jail. have all of his own stuff. <laughs> yeah. Separate cooks, all this shit. Probably I'm put sure. it on lockdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wild. Yeah, it's So weird. anyway, the logistics of keeping him in jail would be gnarly. It's a nightmare. Oh, yeah, At it best. is. But. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah, I'm interested to see what happens. It's cool that we get to live through this. It's exactly. fucking nutty, dude. Can <laughs> okay. you imagine what are history books going to say 50 years from now? Depends who wins, right? Know. Yeah. Either Trump's going to be the worst president we ever had, or he's going to be the the one that saved the country. You know? I think the latter. I hope the latter. I've had some interesting opinions from people outside of the U.S. who, like, came here, and they immigrated from, like, dictatorships and stuff. And they were like, watch, watch out for Trump. He's dangerous. And yeah, he can be, but... Yeah, but any leader could be. Yeah, any leader could be. This I don't know this how. lady was hell-bent that Trump was the most dangerous thing for the U.S. Why, though? Because he's got such a pull that people would just follow him to anything? Mm-hmm. And the fact that he's gaining so many followers and all this, she's just like, it's just like what happened back in my country gain a ton of followers they get the military involved and then suddenly it's a military dictatorship where did she come from that would be insane it was oh i can't remember the country it was either one of the eastern i think it was like eastern european countries mm-hmm. one of those out there oh, well, i mean um, my opinion is already already proven that he's not willing to do that during co- the riots and shit where he wouldn't send in the the yeah. army without they, they the state's approval. Crucified him for it. Yeah. Either it way. Did the right thing. and Yeah. I think she has a point, though. She does. It's a very good point. It, it, actually, it did change my perspective. Like, okay, let's take a step back. And let's see what this guy's doing. You know? Hmm. Yeah. Could be playing the long game. Yeah. I mean, he's fucking expert. Well, yeah, he's at, definitely smart enough, he's, too. He's great at chess. We'll say that. Yeah. Or it just looks like he's great at chess and he's just spiraling. She's <laughs> <laughs> fucking around. There's a fine line between smart and crazy. <laughs> I think he's got a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. Have you guys heard that they're trying to do lockdowns again? I have, yes. Yes, sir. In like September. Mask mandates and stuff have already been Bullshit. coming coming back in some of the states. Uh-huh. I heard there. every single person I've talked to is just like, nope, mm-hmm. not going to do it again. Oh, yeah. yeah Fuck no. it. I think Bill Gates tweeted out some crazy shit. Uh, I'll find it, but it was like, Please. if you don't text, take the next vaccine, you're going to be ostracized from society. Like, <laughs> bring like, it on, dude. Bring it. Or, yeah, it was crazy. I don't want to be in society anyway. Fuck them, you know? Yeah, it's just a hard no for me. Yeah. I'm not doing the shit. No, thanks. I'll cancel my fucking Hawaii trip. Burn in hell. Speaking of, they're burning in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, one of the islands you guys are going to? Yeah, Maui. Oh, oh you guys are going to Maui? Yeah. It's so I, Maui. I heard Oprah bought a bunch of that land right after it burnt to a crisp. That's called a smart business decision, dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, the government bought a shitload of it, too. Yeah. It burnt down, and they bought a ton of it back. <laughs> yeah, it's because well, they're wanting to build smart cities, and Hawaii was prime suspect for the smart city. What's a smart city? It's a great question. Can you look it up? Um, isn't it? It's like a city that you can do everything in. It's like, don't leave the city because it's got everything you need. Mm-hmm. Everything's within walking distance. Everything's, you'll never have to leave. That's like, kind of the idea. Screw like the that. Wally ship. Yeah. yeah. That, that's what they're building out um, back on Bacchus. They're building a city that they want to be like that, yeah. Ew. To where it's work, work and play city, or they call it, or whatever. Yeah, no, I'm good. A smart city is a techno technologically modern urban area that uses different types of um, electronic methods and uh, sensors to collect specific da- data. Data, yeah. Yeah, probably a shitload of cameras. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't find that tweet, so it totally could have been fake. 
I don't know. He's a little crazy. Yeah, well, I would believe it. Okay, he says, Bill Gates, people who resist mRNA tsunami will be excluded from society. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Come get me, bitch. Yep. <clears throat> Pull up West Side. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. How can you make that prediction, though? Like, I don't think that's a prediction. I think that's a threat. What has he got besides money? Power. Yeah. He is Lots invested in it, and he's a eugenicist. He wants us dead. Like this tweet says, vaccines in our food so- food supply solves the problem of vaccine hesit- hesitancy. <laughs> that's that's true. That's crazy. Well, they did that with a <clears throat> polio vaccine. Did you guys know that? Did you put it in our food? No, uh, they made it so uh, it like came out in your pee, so if you ever went to a public pool, you'd get vaccinated. What? what? Yeah. Yeah, so all the public pools, if any kid person that had been vaccinated before peed or did whatever they did in the pool, everyone would get vaccinated. That's what wild. No thanks. Yeah. I don't know if that was on purpose or what, but I wouldn't well, be surprised if it was. they used to make vaccines good. Like, they used to be good, besides all the heavy chemicals and shit that are bad for you. Uh, heavy metals, I mean. But, yeah, this mRNA stuff kind of sketches me out a bit when you're messing with my dna it's like eh. well yeah see the idea makes know. sense but you just don't trust the people that are doing it well when the creator That's, of it comes maybe out, not an mrna one but other vaccines like the idea makes sense but i just don't trust the people that are doing it I don't know. <clears throat> the creator of it came out and said don't take it yeah so i'm gonna go off his judgment and not take it didn't he also say he wants to lower the population of the earth anyway probably yeah i don't know bill gates right Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wasn't the creator of the mRNA vaccine. He's just heavily invested in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's just pushing it. Mm-hmm. So, who was the creator then? Was it? I don't know his name. You could look that up. Jamie. Probably just <laughs> some scientist somewhere. Yeah. Rogan had him on, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did. I don't know his name. Joe Rogan's got lots of neat people on his show. <clears throat> like yeah. doctors and stuff that tell you stuff that you're like, Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like talking about mouth breathing, how bad that is for you. It's crazy. Wait, why is it bad for you? Um, so your your nose produces like nitric oxide oxide when you breathe, and so it makes your body absorb air better. But also, it'll change the shape of your face. Oh yeah, you'll get way uglier if you breathe breathe through your mouth. <laughs> no, this? That makes sense, You're, Luke. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Have you ever seen people that their chins like really sunk back? Yeah. It's because they mouth breathe. It'll if you start breathing through your nose, it'll come back forward after a few months. What? Holy shit! How does that work? I don't know, but mouth breathing is like terrible for you. It's like serious business. Yeah. Hmm. So if you got a stuffy nose, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Just don't get allergies. Just kidding. Yeah, but it's reversible. Yeah, it's reversible. See, it can cause crooked teeth, facial deformities, poor growth. Uh. Chronic mouth breathing issues, gum disease. What the fuck? It's crazy. It's terrible for you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. <clears throat> I'm mouth breathing when I sleep. That's not good. Yeah, I think that's why a lot of those, uh, like, uh, have you ever seen, yeah, like mouth tape and shit so popular yeah. currently? Yeah, but what if you get stuffy in the middle of the night and you just... I think it's just if you're doing it all the time. Like, see, there's this is just a diagram of, like, a before and after of... What it would look like being mouth breather versus not. It's fucking crazy. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Shit, I have, have that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it just basically sinks your chin back what the fuck? in uh, your face, essentially. Yeah. It's really, like, terrible for you. Get That's from society to Nathandro. Or <laughs> Neanderthal. Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah, that's aggressive. That's <clears throat> very interesting. Um, but talking about these talking about these Hawaii fires again, what do you guys think caused it? I've heard power lines, I've heard directed energy weapons, nine eleven, holla. Um what else have we heard here? Chinese space lasers. Ah uh, yes. I've well, only that's, heard direct energy weapons. That's so. the direct energy weapons. Yeah. Too. Isn't it in like Antarctica or something like that they were saying? What? What? <laughs> the weapon. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Why would it be in Antarctica? 
I don't know. I just I, I haven't really heard that much about it I except think, everybody thinks it's like a weapon. I think space lasers would come from like satellites. Well, they're saying there's this like thing <clears throat> that was supposed to be like pick up sound waves, but was really a secret weapon that they were hiding. Let me try to find it. Whoa, what? That would be cool. I have not heard of this Antarctica theory yet. For me personally, um, yeah, I think it was created by some space laser ship. Interesting. Yeah, you were telling me about how it uh, didn't burn blue cars. Or umbrellas. Or blue umbrellas. Yeah, there's literally pictures of a completely burnt building. Everything is just crisp blue umbrellas. <laughs> Sitting there, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> now, the question is, why would that be the case? I don't know the science behind it. Because I'll bet you the UN is in there. It's not UN umbrellas, is it? What? Like United yeah. Nations? Or is that right? Yeah, yeah United Nations. Yeah. They're all blue. Right? Their symbols blue. They probably have blue umbrellas, things like that. That's not them going in and helping, right? No. After the fact. No, it was like uh, look up the picture if you want. Let's see. It's kinda weird. Can you implement a picture like into the podcast? I'm sure I could, yeah. That'd yeah, be hard absolutely. with YouTube. Think it'd be easy. It yeah. would be better if we were just vi- videoing the whole time, because that'd be weird if it just automatically like pops up suddenly. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like there's no other pictures, just our logo until like yeah. that one spot. We seriously got to get a video. Yeah, but beyond that, did you find the picture? No, I'm still looking for it. It didn't let me search it the first time. I don't know then. Let me see here. Huh. All of a sudden, I can't find anything like that. I like it. I do see it, but it's kind of blurry. Let's see if it's the right one. Oh, why didn't the blue materials burn? Yeah. The umbrella's sitting out front. Oh, it wasn't that picture that I saw, but yeah. Oh. Or like the blue cars (laughs) didn't burn. (laughs) Now, the question is why? Yeah. Why would that not happen? I don't know, do they have some kind of special technology? I haven't found it. I've only seen things on Instagram, but it was showing this certain laser that was, like, burning everything. And then, like, they had strips of colors, Mm -hmm. like a rainbow, and it would, like, burn everything until it got to the blue and just untouched. And then it would start burning. What? Is it, like, just like a blue laser? Yeah. And the blue just kind of bounces back? That's probably the case. But is blue unseeable to the naked eye? Depends on the blue, right? Yeah, it depends on the blue. Like laser blue. No. Yeah, I've bought in blue lasers yeah, before. Blue or purple lasers, you're seeing it. Mm-hmm. Then, if that was the case, why wouldn't they? The Hawaiian people be able to see it. I mean, it depends. If it's if it's blue shifted enough. Well, yeah, if it's it was not blue, to say that they can't make it invisible, neither though. Yeah, if it was blue shifted enough, it'd be purple and then into the ultraviolet range, and higher, which you wouldn't see. But that is so weird. There's also rumors that different places are starting to burn, too. Like, I believe Turkey or, yeah, I believe it was Turkey, maybe. Let me verify this information. It's really just like having a Jamie. (laughs) This is nice. (laughs) Except I can't find anything. (laughs) (laughs) It's a (laughs) Xavi. He has years of practice. You're fine. Um, I don't even know. I, I really do think that it's got to be something suspicious, though. Did you get the book, Where Did the Towers Go? No. We're saving well, our some other stuff. Mm-hmm. Else, that's neat. It's from Matt Wallace, which I've seen his stuff here and there. Three hours ago, Hawaiian Electric just put out a statement that they shut off the power lines hours before the Maui fire started. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> huh. huh. You know what else? They put up a bunch of fences, too, it looks like. All around all the burnt shit. Kind of weird. It is weird. Just on Twitter, it's like people videoing stuff around mm. Hawaii. There was allegedly like a thousand plus kids missing, too. Yeah, I've seen that. A lot of kids missing. And the the Hawaii governor was would not answer that question. Nope. He also wouldn't sound any of the alarms for like, hey, disaster incoming. Nope, yeah, they have, it. like, the most extensive um, siren system in the U.S., like 400 across that to, small island. Pearl Harbor, hurricanes, all that. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like 400 across that small island and not a single one. Was it only kids missing? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot. There's like over 100 people dead, but there was like over 1,000 kids missing. That's strange. She's like, I don't know. There's so many things <laughs> suspicious with this fire that they just don't add up. This makes me want to be a journalist and go to these places. Right. Be cool. Like, as it's happening or right after, it's like, what's the scoop, yeah. you know? What's the real news? But if you find the real news, you might end up dead. Yep, yep. really dead. Very dead in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. That son of a bitch. Two <laughs> bullet holes in the back of your head. Yep. It was suicide. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's definitely interesting. <laughs> it doesn't seem natural. No. no. Because I, all I know is that, like, the way that houses are built, they're built with fire-resistant everything, except for, like, carpet and furniture. Yeah. Fire-resistant sheetrock, you know. I mean, the wood isn't fire-resistant if it gets through the sheetrock, but that's, like, sheetrock is literally, like, similar to rock, you know. It's, yeah. It's com- comprised of, like, uh, I think gypsum and things like that which is just rock. So if, if these houses had anything close to the same building codes, which I would imagine they would when you're on an island to prevent fires. And tsunami. Well, an active volcano yeah. island. Yes. Then I'd imagine they'd have similar building codes, and residential areas wouldn't just fucking burn up like that. If we have a house fire, it doesn't spread to all the other houses. Right. Mm-hmm. It usually stays there. And they had, like, whole neighborhoods just gone. Yeah, if well, not right. cities, I don't know. The roads right next that. to the ocean, too, which seems odd to me. Right? There's nothing to go that way. Would the fire even go towards? There's no trees and shit. It's just the road and then the ocean. But all the cars are all burnt up and shit. Seems weird. No, I could be wrong. I'm not an expert or nothing, but it just seems odd. These houses are demolished, too. It looks like a bomb went off. It kind of does. Yeah. It's like a fire bomb. Speaking of bombs... <laughs> We can get to that in a minute. Over 2,000 children unaccounted for or missing. Holy fuck. Over the last two weeks. That's a lot. That's a ton. That kind of gave me chills. That was weird. That's gnarly. A lot of these are saying... Now, this is Twitter, so you always got to take it with a grain of salt, but a lot of Bro, these Twitter's are saying... Bro, Twitter's more accurate than half of them, but continue. <laughs> but, uh, like, there was, like, road barricades and shit up. <laughs> in the roads that's why all there's all there's all those cars that are stuck what the fuck some of this is weird like one of the things was saying that the, the fire chief was giving wrong directions and stuff what? and hungary was the first country to bring uh looks like housing units before our country nice yeah so hungary's given all that first aid well since when has hungary been on the map ever <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this Since one says the, uh, yeah. Austria Hungarian guy got assassinated for World War One. Yeah, well, they just started it. That was that it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this says there's black fences everywhere in Maui. Okay, but those could have been up after the fire too, set up after. Right. Well, they are. They're just saying they're hiding what's the burnt shit. Oh. Ooh. It's like four. Yeah. They quarantine it all off and study this is so suspicious study how good the weapon did yep <laughs> <laughs> wow this one's nice yeah what was this bomb you were talking about oh the wagner leader leaders just got fucking taken out really oh yeah by russia allegedly got blown up <laughs> right in their airplane <laughs> the <who? laughs> leaders? so you know the leader of the wagner group Prigozhin. It's like Yegeni Prigozhin, whatever his name is. Um, either way, he's basically a private contract military group for Putin. And so him and his group of tens of thousands of militants, essentially. Well, not essentially, that's what they were. They were over in Ukraine fighting. And then you know how Russia had that miniature civil war, the little march on Moscow? Yeah. That was Prigozhin and the Wagner group. The Wagner, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And then they waited a couple months. And then Prigozhin, the creator of the Wagner group, Wagner group, and 
I think it was six people total. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. Somewhere around that. They were flying. It might have been to Moscow. And then magically their plane blew up and fucking they all died. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's wild. From unknown causes. <laughs> Correct. So people are like, was it a missile? Was it an explosion that was planted? Nobody knows. And so that's wow. just another thing to add to the mix. Hey, you want to come meet with us for uh, negotiation? Yeah, sure. Where? You, which plane are you flying again? Just to make sure we know where you're coming. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. What's your tell number? I'm yeah. Gonna blow you the fuck up. Testing this new weapon, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But because they're like a, a very organized group, they do the walkthrough around the plane to make sure there's no nothing, whatever. And then allegedly there was a group of people that were interested in, in buying the plane. So they went on afterwards. And it sounds like that might have been when the bomb was planted. And then, so now they're all dead and they're threatening to march on Moscow again for payback and all this shit. So, I don't know. You know, the real crazy thing is about these directed energy weapons. So I was talking to a guy one time who, he was a little kooky, but he did his research on the kooky stuff. And he was, he was wild. He's like, if, if you tell anybody we talked about this, I'm going to deny it. If... Like, if we ever meet up, I don't want to talk about this stuff again. Things like that. Kooky people know shit. Yes, he was conspiracy theory out the wazang. Anyway, um, but he was, he had some interesting stuff. But anyway, the directed energy weapons, that's that's who got me interested in direct, directed energy weapons for 9-11. And he was saying that, one sec. Mm. How did you meet this guy to start? <clears throat> I was doing his garage door dog. Excellent. Okay. And we started talking. I was just like, oh, this guy's either really interesting or really fucking nuts. Um, gave me a silver coin, though. He's like, get more of this. This will be very valuable in the future. I was like, yeah, I figure. <laughs> but <laughs> like thanks. Yeah. Duh. Thanks, bro. Anyway, he was saying that that's kind of the reason that China has kind of stayed out of our, stayed out of our hair for so many years as we demonstrated a directed energy weapon on those buildings and China was like, oh, fuck, it's basically the new nuke, right? And so if it was China who did this directed energy weapon attack on Hawaii, that could be interesting. Now China's like, here's my big dick, too. <laughs> you know? If, if that That's happened to be cool. the case in both instances, right? They're like, oh, let's demonstrate it. But we're not going to demonstrate it on our own people. We'll demonstrate it on your people. Yeah. That would be very interesting. I wouldn't put it past us, but I think our government did it. Because I extra wouldn't put it past them. That's fair. Definitely some crazy shit going around all of all of anything that the, goes on that's big. The last time China yeah. attacked us big with Pearl Harbor on Hawaii, that, that was, was also... Oh, yeah, that was Japan. My bad. Fuck me. <laughs> Never mind, boys. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, I'm an idiot. Either way, the point of that was that our government got pissed. Fairly well allowed it. Like, if you hear the transmissions and shit, they knew there was shit going on. Yeah. And it was probably going to be Pearl Harbor, and there wasn't a thing done about it. Yep. It was a little off topic, but I I was, like, wrong about history for so long because I thought that we bombed Pearl Harbor, or we bombed Japan right after they uh, bombed Pearl Harbor. No. No, it was a while after. A while after. That's what got us into the war. It was like two years later, I want to say. Yeah, that war was going on for a long time. Yeah, it was like five years. Yeah, it was going on for like two or three years before we got involved and another two-ish years, I think, after. Yeah. And then even after the atomic bombs hit, they weren't going to surrender and then the emperor was finally like, just like, guys, we got to stop. I'm losing all my people. (laughs) (laughs) That's wild. Mm -hmm. Dude, fuck that. If I saw a nuke drop, I'd be like... If you You're saw a nuke bitch. drop, you wouldn't be alive long enough to even worry about it. Right, but even hear about it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, fucking California got nuked. Although, we'd get it, too, to be honest. Salt Lake would definitely get it. Um, if not, Salt Lake would be bombed all around. Or they just yeah. hit Yellowstone. I was going to say, do you think it would just, like, set off Yellowstone? I don't I'm think so. I'm not convinced, yeah. No. Mm-hmm. I'm not convinced. The Earth absorbs shocks like that very well. Like, earthquakes, even, like, a smaller earthquake has the same energy as, like, multiple atomic weapons. Really? Oh, it's ridiculous. There are earthquake bombs, bombs, though. Those are sick. Yeah, earthquake bomb might do it. 
<laughs> Although they're outlawed. Right? Yeah, they're... they're Allegedly. Not, yeah, correct. So are chemical weapons and all these other things yeah. that are being used, right? They, yeah, they still use those. Tesla Napalm. Or say that he made one of those? A te- um, no, Tesla had a little device that... Uh, made earthquakes, I mean. No, it basically matched the resonance of the building it's connected to. So, so it was cool. a little handheld device that allegedly could, like, collapse the building if it... Yeah. I don't think so, but similar to, like, a, a glass that shatters, you know? I'm sure yeah. you can make something like that. Because you wouldn't be able to match the resonance of all items in the building. Maybe just, like, the steel beams or something like that. Well, something crazy. <laughs> yeah, some crazy shit because... I'm like 90% positive after he died, the government swooped in and grabbed all of his shit. They did. All of his designs, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. Did he die by suicide with two shots to the back of the head? I don't know. Absolutely. Died alone, didn't he? How did he die? Let's figure this out. Probably alone and sad because all of his inventions were taken. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, he, He knew some shit and he was definitely before his time, but he didn't know that much shit. Heart failure. Tesla died of heart Hello, failure, baby. a forgotten man, on Hi. January 7th, Good morning. Hi, baby. Do you want to come talk? Yeah, that's talk. crazy. Yeah. Say hello. Luna, say hi. Oh, She's still tired. waking up. Oh, uh, sweetie. <laughs> we got Noah's little baby here. Noah and Tevis. You want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi, baby. Oh, no, she's too tired. Oh. Too tired. Okay. Not today. <laughs> she's so cute. Thanks. Yeah, so he died of heart attack at what age? Um, t- Tesla heart died of heart, heart failure. failure. Forgotten man on January 7th, 1943. The ortho- or- Orthodox Christmas Day of that year. Agents from the fe- Federal Bure- Bureau-, Bureau of Investigation immediately removed the papers from Tesla's safe. S- citing wartime security concerns. Oh, of course. <laughs> his funeral was conducted in New York City, and his body was cremated. How old was he? How old was he? That's the question. Because he died of a heart attack. <laughs> Good. That's what it meant to say. In the 40s? Yeah, I guess maybe. 83. Shit, yeah. Or, I mean, 86. Sorry. He's 86. No, okay. Yeah. Yes, that's believable. <laughs> you made it happen. Yeah. That's epic. Maybe they didn't assassinate as many people back then. Oh, I'm sure they did. It's you just didn't hear about it. Someone just died. It's fucking wild though. Joe Rogan, the uh, listening. I was listening to the one with Post Malone, and he recommended a book called Chaos. It's about Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Post he did. Oh, this is trippy. Joe Rogan okay. uh, mentioned a book about Marilyn Manson. Now we're talking conspiracy theories, boys. But um, which the difference between a conspiracy theory and the truth is about three months, like we've determined. Um, yeah. These days, anyway, it used to be longer, <laughs> but they uh, essentially like the premise of the book. I haven't gotten far into it yet, but Joe Rogan was saying it's about how the government trained Marilyn Manson. No, Charles Manson. Scar- sorry, not Marilyn Manson. Charles one. Manson to be a cult leader and how to do that. Yeah, you were telling me that last time. Yeah. On podcast. And I'm fucking excited to continue this book because it's you started it yeah dude it's been interesting really yeah right now it's talking about all the connections so many connections throughout hollywood he was like trying to be a singer release his own songs all yeah, this Joe shit rogan listened to some of his music on the podcast did crazy. was he good i don't I know i think he just wrote them uh, i don't know that he sang them but it's still crazy anyway he was yeah there, it's like the connections go so much deeper than he just murdered some people yeah. or his cult murdered some people, you know, fucking crazy. Mm. And they were following him so close that he, he like carved a red X in blood on his head uh, for court. And the rest of his followers the next day all had red fucking X's carved into their skulls. Like what the fuck? Crazy shit. Telling judges, like, the judge is like, I'll have you thrown out of this courtroom. And he's like, I'll have you thrown out of this courtroom. You know, just fucking crazy. That so, sick. <laughs> yeah, what, dude. What uh, time period was this in? This was in the s- late 60s into the 70s. Yeah, not too far back. Yeah, not too far back. 50 years, boys. 
That's insane. Welcome yeah, to the jungle. They were saying the CIA was messing around with mind control. Yep. They're like trying to figure out mind control. Mind control, truth serum. They were experimenting with like LSD, all that jazz. Yep. Acid. Shit. Yep. They would take people. Get this shit. They would take people into like they'd set up a brothel. They'd have the guys come in, in the brothel, and the women were CIA agents, and they would dose them up with LSD in the brothel and just fucking observe them from a two-way mirror on the other side and just see what happened. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. So cool. (laughs) And then just send them on their merry fucking way at the end of the day. Like, holy shit. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's so crazy. (laughs) Yeah. Makes you wonder how much shit actually is, like, how much more shit that we don't know about is going on. Yeah, a lot. So much. A lot. I think at this point, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people with common sense, I should say, have a very healthy disrespect for the government. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, and suspicion, you know, everything they release, like everyone was like, aliens are real. And then the government, aliens are real. And everyone's like, no, nah, they're not real anymore. I don't Dude, believe that shit. No what are they covering up? Shit. Yeah. What are they covering up? You know? Even when people without common sense are starting to get it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Especially yeah. with masks trying to come back and shit, and everyone's like, no. I thought we proved those didn't, like, work very well. Like, they would stop spit, and that's it. Did they have a... But you just cover your cough. The CDC has a, a thing that is saying, for the Maui fires, they said, a mask won't cover the... Keep your lungs clean from the smoke. And they oh. show, like, the, the dust particle or the smoke particles all the way down to, like, a bacteria. Virus. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's the mask, it's, like, a thousand times the size, and it still doesn't do anything. It's like, a, yeah, it is. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I've had people that were all for the masks, all for vaccines. Now they're just like, uh-uh, fuck that. We're not doing this again. I'm like, hell yeah. Interesting. Finally. <clears throat> yeah, and, like, they, oh, and they I, wonder why Trump's gaining in popularity so much because he's, like, Freedom. Well, Joe Biden just handed it to him. He's like, look how stupid I am. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, this is too easy. There is definitely some of that. Allegedly, Trump has like 20% of the black vote, too. I believe it. Which is huge. Yeah. For a Republican. That's crazy. I hope he gets in and raises hell. It's his last fucking term he can serve. He better raise some hell. Yeah. And he's at the end of his life. Like, mm-hmm. nothing to lose. He's already got his... Estates all set up and everything. Just fucking get it, dude. Yeah. Prison for you, you, you. Yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting. That'd be, good. be a show again for sure. Yeah. Yep. I'm excited. Make sure you guys are stocked up. Food, water, bullets. Toilet Gold paper. and silver. Toilet paper for the election next year. Yeah, before <laughs> people start panicking again. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah, because they're going to. Even with masks and shit. If they, everyone starts bringing it back, it would be nice to just have stuff I wouldn't, so you don't have to go to the store. Or I wouldn't be surprised if we had events that dwarf January 6th. Yeah, that fake thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. You guys ever listen to Crowder talking about like the FBI agents they had? Not just there, but other places when they were catching people doing weird shit. Mm-mm. It's crazy. Mm-mm. Like, these FBI agents are, like, goading people into doing stupid I've, I've shit. I've heard a lot of that about January 6th, yeah. Yeah, well, there's one they were, um, you know when they did the Michigan, the people were trying to, like, bomb the the governor of Michigan or whatever, do you guys remember that? Yeah. Or, like, like yeah. kidnapper. Kid- kidnapper, yeah. yeah. That yeah. was such bullshit, dude. The F- FBI agents that were infiltrated the group were like, yeah, you want to do this? Let's do it. And what were, like, fuck? getting the other people in on it, and then they arrested them. So they had, like, no intention to, but then they got talked into it. What yeah. happened on January 6th? Wait, what? <laughs> That's the capital yeah, capital riot, capital riot uh, is what they call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was an election. I just didn't know what day it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. The biggest day in history, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Biggest insurrection ever by a president that didn't do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was people who walked in like an hour or two later, just like checked it out after all the par- barricades were gone and everything. Like, what the fuck happened here? You know? They have video of the cops letting and them in. Yeah, yeah opening the doors that's for them and shit. During, but like afterwards, people would walk around and just like, what happened here? You know, checking it out, and they're getting 18, 24 months. Just they're still in prison. A lot of them. 
Yeah, a lot of people who were there are still in prison, and, and some of them have not even had a trial yet or anything. They're just being held. No, ch- I imagine there's charges, but fucking, yeah. That's crazy. Tim Pool was even saying some of them were, like, in solitary confinement for, like, months. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, crazy shit. Guilty until proven innocent. <clears throat> yeah. That's what it's turned to. That's how it goes with anything involved with the government. Yeah. It's like you're guilty till we find something. Which <laughs> is fucking crazy, but everything will be used against you. Yes. Yeah. Fucked. Uh huh. <laughs> Don't mess with Texas. Well, cool. Well, yeah. Oh, I had my bachelor party. That was fun as shit, dude. It was a damn good time. I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. We were just preventing you from falling in the fire. That's all. Good. How did your body feel after? Oh, dude, I was so sore. I had so many <laughs> scrapes and bruises. I was, like, finding a new scratch every, like... Xavier kept minutes. catching himself with his face <laughs> when he fell. Let's just say I remember it until I didn't. Like, it was just... felt fine, and then it's gone. Do you remember crawling into the tent? No. Yeah, with or a bottle of whiskey. And then you, you, crawl, you crawled into the tent, and then you crawled back out of the tent, grabbed your whiskey and your vape, and crawled back in. <laughs> and you were just taking pulls. <laughs> and then we're in bed, and I just hear the cork, boom, and then, <laughs> and I was like, fuck, dude. Did I throw up in the tent? I wanted to A little yeah. bit. Did I? Fuck. A little bit, I remember, yeah. like, briefly waking up, and you were like, save, don't throw up in the tent. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Okay, I got it. to get out. Yeah. But. You started throwing up in the tent, and they were like, don't throw up in the tent. And you, sh- <laughs> the quickest I saw you move all night. <laughs> just shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> It was wild. As long as I didn't try to fight anybody. No. Nope. Wasn't you trying to fight people, no? Nope. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. Somebody else? That's cool. A little jackass. <laughs> but it was a great bachelor party. Good. It was. It was a good time. Memorable, to say the least. Memorable. And that's that's what counts, right? Yeah. If you'll remember it the rest of your life, but you done it right. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. Cool. Any last words for the listeners, boys? Mm-mm. Have fun. Get lit. Yeah. Survive. Be safe. <laughs> Prepare. Prepare. Set up trusts. Be prepared. <laughs> and get a policy. And get a whole life policy, as always. Yes. Worth it. Just got a new one on Tammy. Nice. Or we're in the works of getting a new one on Tammy. Hell yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Peace out.